So if you're interested in clean stuff, if you're interested in being clean, then these whites, this beautiful white foam is exactly what you want. All that foam is, is lots and lots of tiny bubbles. And every time there's a boundary, light bounces off the boundary. And so white light goes in, it bounces off a bit, and white light goes out. But when we buy cleaning agents, this, we sort of intuitively think, think the same thing now, that if there's lots of white foam, then it must be better. Things must be cleaner because the foam is clearly clean, it's bright white. So we associate this clean white foam with soap and with cleanliness and all these good things. The problem is, the chemicals making the foam, the surfactants, um, are not actually what's doing most of the cleaning. In soap, they do help a little bit. The same molecules do two jobs. But as we've got better at, at the chemistry, the things that make the best foam are not the things that do the best cleaning. And so manufacturers of uh, laundry detergent, for example, will put foaming agents in that really don't need to be there so that when your washing machine is going around, you see all this white foam, you think, oh, that must be really, really clean. But actually, the foam is just a distraction. The stuff you put in there to make the foam can actually damage the inside of your washing machine. It would clean better if you just had the chemicals that did the cleaning. Um, but then people won't buy that because it's not white and you don't have your beautiful white bubbles. So if you really want clean clothes, you can absolutely, legitimately, buy laundry detergent that doesn't have the foaming agents in it. The problem is no one really trusts it because you can't see what it's up to. So you have to separate the idea of the beautiful white foam and the cleanliness because they're not actually the same thing.